All right, we're going to get started. Um, as you can see, we got a little bit different background going on here. Um, that shouldn't really matter. Um, maybe you like this one, maybe you don't, I don't know. But uh, for this project, we're going to call this uh, hidden image. Uh, for this project, you're going to have to find something to draw. Find something uh, that's easy for you to draw but not something that is extremely basic. Uh, so what do I mean? Uh, I'm gonna draw my key, um, and maybe I'll do the um, this little clicker part, uh, but I know for a fact that the key I'm gonna draw. So the key is something uh, hopefully that will go in focus. Doesn't want to, let's see. Oh, 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 there we go. So the key is something that is simple. It's basically, I have this long rectangle. I have some triangles on the front. Uh, at the top, I have um, basically more like a squared off circle uh, with more triangles at the top. Um, if I do decide while I'm drawing this that I want to go the extra step, the, this part is just a teardrop. Um, and then this is sort of just like you know, a rounded square. Uh, so something like that. This is, this is still relatively pretty simple. It's easy uh, to draw if you really think about it, but it's not so basic that it's like stupid. So what do I mean so basic like stupid? If you just draw a circle and you say, I drew a roll of tape, or you draw a basketball and it's, that's a circle, and you say, I drew a basketball, uh, those are two examples of something really easy. Um, uh, some type of plain pencil, just, you know, this would be basically just be a rectangle. That's, you know, a little bit too simple. Um, but in the case of a pencil, let's say you do a pen. Um, still really basic. Why would I accept a pen? Well, on the pen, I still have uh, this little detail here and I have the cat, which makes this little this little line right here. Um, so different types of, you know, more mechanical or plastic pencils are gonna have these different details that gives you more to draw where it's, whereas this simple pencil is just one rectangle. There's not too much you can do with it. So if you do go the route of trying to draw something like a pencil, please choose something that is a bit more complicated where it has different pieces uh, for you to draw. Uh, another example of a simple object would be like the binder clip. Uh, so it's it has like the top, it has this middle part. Um, you can draw it from different angles and it will be different for each angle. Uh, the more the complicated thing with this would be the top because it's very small. Uh, but at least that's that's something that makes it a bit simple, but at the same time, it's complicated. All right, let's try to get into this project. For this project, I have, again, my item that I'm drawing, so I'm drawing this. I have a pencil, and I'm supposed to have a marker, but I don't have that with me. Uh, I have an eraser, uh, and let me get my marker. Let me put this here so you can see. I don't know where my marker went. And I got two for the price of one, two markers. These are not the markers I planned on having. I just grabbed these really quick. So before I get started, I wanna double check that they're working. I don't wanna start drawing with pencils or markers, obviously, that don't work. So both of these work, so both of these are fine. So I shouldn't have any problems. All right, so uh, before we get started, started, I, I said started a whole bunch of times now. Uh, basically what we're going to do is I'm going to draw my image. I'm going to draw that with pencil. Uh, then there will be lines that go through the paper. Uh, when I get to my image that I'm, or the object that I'm drawing, um, it's going to either bow, like make an arc, an arc type of shape, 
every time I go over my image instead of continuing these straight lines. I mean, if you want, when you make yours, you can make lines that go up and down. You can make lines that go right to left. Um, I'm not even going to use a ruler, so it's not about these lines being perfect. What it's about is when this line hits this object that I drew, it goes and does something a little bit different. So that way, um, when we're done drawing this, what we're trying to draw uh, still shows, but not in the way where it looks like I just drew something and then I put lines over top of it. Uh, we, we've done a project in the past where we put our hand on the paper, you outline your hand, you draw it, and then when you get to the hand part, it goes over. It's basically that same concept. Um, I'll put examples of that, but what happens when I put examples of that? Somebody's gonna make a copy of it, but I will put examples of that in the slide or PowerPoint, whatever one you wanna call it. All right, but let's get started. Uh, also for this, uh, try to start drawing light. I gotta draw mine a little bit heavier so that way you can see it, but make sure you draw uh, light so that way you can erase, because you're definitely gonna have to erase for this one. That's why I have the eraser. All right, let me zoom in here so we can get onto this paper and we can get started. All right, so I got this key here. Um, let's, let's see, I'm just gonna lay it right there. I'm gonna try to make it a little bit bigger. Uh, so I'm just gonna break it down to its kind of its shapes. So I have this rectangle and you know, um, it doesn't have to be perfect, but it should look okay. It shouldn't just be scribble scrabble. It, look, it should look like you gave it, you gave it something, not absolutely nothing, you know. On the end here, it's like a triangle. Then, all these separate little triangles. I'm not going to copy these perfect. I'm just going to copy it best. You know. I'm also going to make a line here so that way I know how high up I should be going. Had to get this done a little bit faster. All right, so that's, I'm thinking that's to here. That's good enough. When it gets to about here, there is these two lines that are two edges that line up. So I'm gonna go Put a line through here so that way that tells me where these two are going to line up. Then I have this section here. It's basically a square with a triangle on top, just bigger than the one I have at the bottom. So let's just make this a square. And I'm out of room, so this part isn't going to get made. So I'm just sticking with the key. Uh, as always, you should be trying to fill your paper, so this is a good way to do that. Just make whatever you're making bigger than what it actually is. So then I have a triangle on top. All right, I'm not even gonna go into a ton of these details. I'm going to get a few. Like, I'm, I'll, maybe I'll do some of these and I'll just put this little line on it and that's all the details I need. All this really is gonna be erased. Uh, the details that I put on here are just going to be uh, areas where when I make my line, I can just make a, a lump on here. Um, I'll kind of, hopefully I can go back over that if I remember. Um, so I'm going to put this line, the line kind of lines up with somewhere here. It was above these line, this line that I made, so let's make it past there. Got that. And then we got one, two, three triangles up here. These triangles meet up. I'm gonna just use this line that I got. I'm just gonna go. And you know what?
know what, my triangles are a little bit messed up. That's okay. I'm just gonna, so I don't have room anymore. So I'm just gonna put a, you know, bone. A really bad. That is my key. I'm gonna leave it like that for now. Um, if I was really nitpicking, uh, let's see. So, just so, like, you know, you can see nobody does this perfect. Uh, I'm just trying to get it, I'm trying to get it so you guys can see it. If you want to make it more perfect, make it more perfect. If you get something like this from your drawing, keep it like this. If what you're drawing ends up just being a, let me put that back. If what you're drawing just ends up being a square and a rectangle, if you're trying to draw something like this and it's just a square and a rectangle, obviously that's not done right. Um, but as I was saying, if I'm nitpicking, this section here is obviously bigger here than on here. That's fine. Uh, and my portion, this portion at the top with this rectangle, obviously is not the same as that. But is it the key? Yeah, it definitely is. It's, it's, you can tell. You can tell what I'm drawing here. Is it perfect? No. And that's fine. All right. So let's get with these lines. I'm going to switch this over to my marker now. Again, I am not using a ruler. If you want, if you want to use a ruler, use a ruler. Uh, I'm going to go diagonal. So there you go. So now we're gonna come back in here and I'm gonna put the lines over top. Um, when I get to a section like this that is an extra section, I'll make the line go like a different direction. So let's see, for example, I don't really wanna start here, but I'm trying to make it an example. So I'm gonna go, so these two kind of line up. So uh, what I did is I just want to see where the two lines line up. Uh, if they don't always line up, that's fine. Here, so it's going to go up, and it's going to go here. Let's try that again. So, so basically, it's more of a wavy ish line. Don't just make it go straight again, that's the main key. It can connect on either side. So when I'm saying connect on either side, it, the line that you make on top of here can connect on these two sides, but in the center, it can't go in this same direction. It's gotta go some other way. It can go up and down. Um, it can go all the way up and down. That is up to you. Um, but it cannot go just the same direction, like parallel, like mine. All right, let's keep going here. All right, so we're pretty much, not done, but we're pretty much done. You can see sort of where I have my image. Um, what I probably could have done is went and made my lines somewhere a little bit smaller, but that's okay. We're going to work with this the way I have it. I'm going to go and I'm going to go and add more lines on the outside. Let me do that. All right, so I went and added some more lines in here just so that way my image stands out a little bit better. Um, when you do this, you might have, have that problem. Um, when you do this, you might not. All right, so now the next thing is to make this uh, stand out as possible. So take a quick, um, you know, memory of it. Um, 
So this is the shading part. I know some of you guys don't like doing the shading, but you know, shading for art is like the main thing you do to make stuff look right. Uh, also, I want to point out, I don't think you guys can see it, but I have some uh, marks on my paper. Um, if your marker like mine, I just got this, uh, this Crayola marker. If you have a marker something like this and not a nicer marker, it might smudge like that. You're just gonna want to do uh, like how we did before. Just put some paper on top to protect it. Um, so now the next step is to erase it. That's why I said you know take a take some type of memory. Try to remember what you got here because uh, we're going to make it disappear. All right. So I got my eraser here now. I'm just gonna erase all my pencil. said before we want to go in and start shading this we want to do it as light as possible uh, so you remember my key had my key has these lines in there so uh, these are opportunities for me to do you know, maybe a little bit darker shading or a little bit lighter um, so to get started Let's go back out some. Still really hard for you to see, that's okay. All right, so I have my little line here that was there previously. Let's go and uh, mix part of it darker. All right, so um, kind of got it to this point. I'm not not exactly loving what I have um, so I can at this point I can either add more lines in the back I already tried that uh, I could add some more lines on here um, I'm not going to do that um, remember uh, that the point for this is so that way we can still see the image here I'm trying to add a few things and see if I can get it from there um, if not, I have another example. And if not, um, maybe I just start over. Uh, so let me see if I can start getting this. I'm gonna do some more shading stuff. Uh, see if I can start getting in the way uh, that I like it. Um, I think it's pretty good that you can see like your, your work doesn't always come out the way you want. Um, there is, there is the, the goal is to make it look like um, there's an image here um, without kind of like drawing it. But um, as you can see, it's not working. And like I said, maybe I have to make another one. Um, let me try to see if I can make this one right. Uh, give me a few minutes.
All right, so this is about as far as we're going to get it. Um, what does it look exactly like a key? No, uh, but it looks it looks pretty good. Uh, I'll zoom into it uh, in a minute. Um, but what I'm looking for is um, that you started with some type of image. So I started with the key that was my image. Uh, you used some type of line, either parallel. This is parallel or vertical, I mean, no, horizontal or vertical line. So that was one thing, uh, an image, get this in right, uh, you need an image, one. You need straight lines, either vertical, horizontal, or um, I, I just said what those are, uh, slanted, that's two things. You, inside of your shape that you chose, this was my shape or my image, you're going to have shading. That's three things. Uh, the fourth thing, and this one is the, the so so one, is that I can tell that you started with some type of image. So, those are the four things you need for this one. It is the lines, or no, let me start over. It's the image, the lines, the shading. And can we tell what it is? Um, so let's see. Can I tell what mine is? I mean, no. So I'll get. It looks okay, but you know, I'll get. I'll, I will take some points off on mine, even though it looks relatively nice. So I'm gonna take my tape off on mine, and then I'll give you a uh, better view of it. Um, I have another one here I can show you that I don't feel like I did a good job with either. Um, I'll show you that one. Got different paper today, so this is not working the same as usual. Ah, uh, you know what I should have did? I should have did that line, huh? All right, let's see if I can. Um, uh, I'll just leave it. Uh, you know what? Maybe I'll do it this way. Let's see if I can make this. All right, so try to tie it all in with the shadow. Let's hopefully, hopefully that works out for me the way I'm thinking it's gonna work. I have no, uh, and then I went and messed in, I messed up my uh, thing here. Let's see if you can see that. Well, no you can't, cause I can't move the camera the way I want to. So let's just leave it like that. So let's see, or let me let you guys see. Ah. All right, here we are. So is it a key? Probably it is not a key anymore at this point, but uh, I, do, I do have shading. I do have the lines. Um, well, you saw me. At the bottom, at the bottom on this part, I can see it looks kind of like a key. I did that part okay. Um, if you know, if I sit down and work on this a little bit longer, I could probably get it the way I want. Um, since my uh, shading here is kind of dark, I might have to put some shading in the back if I was really to go work on it. Um, maybe I'll, I'll work on it some more, and then I'll, the photo that I put for the example will be. <laughs> It would be really good and then I'll leave this like this maybe maybe I'll leave it like this um, but yeah a as you can see it's not always going to look 100% perfect but um, it should be okay um, so I told you the things that I'm looking for it was the lines it's the image again it's the shading and does it look like what you were trying to draw or look like something that you were trying to draw 
what I'm not looking for. Again, do not just draw a circle and say, hey, I drew a basketball or something. If you want to draw something simple and you draw an apple and it, you know, it looks like the shape of an apple and not the circle, fine. If you draw an orange and it's just a circle, no. You better draw something more complicated than an orange. Don't say, well, I drew a pencil. That's more complicated than an orange. If it's just a plain pencil where you're just going to make a rectangle and a little square at the top, no, do not do that. If you draw an eraser and it's just a rectangle and you say you draw an eraser, no. If you draw an eraser and it's from like, maybe like, you know, where you can see the 3D of it, whereas I can see this angle of it, uh, you know, uh, I'll let that slide. But if you just draw a rectangle like this, no. If you just draw a rectangle like that, no. If you draw a pen and it has, you know, more detail to it, like this part or the cat, or uh, you, know, you can draw the mechanical pencil, yes do those things do not do not do these types of things no thank you all right and i'm about to get off of here but this is the messed up one i did earlier now, i don't like the way that turned out um if you want to do a sneaker that's fine with me that's uh you know even better uh, actually it looks better on the camera now that i'm looking at it but um you don't have to do something like this. I, I probably could have saved myself some trouble and just did more shading on here like I did on this other one. Uh, if you want to do something like this, this is fine. Um, if you wanted to keep it like that, a little bit more simple, that's fine too. All right, last but not least, gotta put the name on here. All right, y'all, as always, I'm hoping everybody, everybody is safe, stay safe, be safe. Um, that's it. That's it for me. Signing off.